Hello my lovely Leo, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look what is going on mid-October, what kind of energies are around you and this period of time. So we're going to dive into recent past, current energies and near future. However, keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading, this is a general reading for Leo like yourself, Sun, Moon and Rising. So take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. Anyways, I'm really grateful for you being here and I'm, I'm indeed. Don't be shy. Please subscribe and join in. And of course, like and comment if you feel that way. All right, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Here we are, Nine of Cups. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. And oh, that is interesting. We have two eights, two nines, like tip for tap. Okay. And we have Ace of Wands and Three of Wands. This is a real turning point for you guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to dive in first with Tarot and then Moonology cards and messages from angels. And here we have recent past, current energies and near future. And we're going to clarify later on as well. All right, at the moment, it is a kind of like, there is this balance, even though the reading talks about different things, but there is a balance in what's going on. And that is good to see. And in the middle, we have the wands, which is the willpower, which is the action, which is what makes things move on, right? <laughs> what makes the world take. We have nine of cups, eight of swords. Such a two different spectrums, right? We have the ultimate happiness, your wish comes through. And then we have this isolation, okay, of being... Um, kind of feeling solitude not knowing what's going on not knowing what to do and this could kind of sometimes clash however one thing really comes to me first is uh in mind is sometimes when you are doing something really bonkers and i have to be very very blunt anyways sometimes genius people are very close to be um a little bit crazy as the way the society would see them okay and it sometimes kind of feels lonely to be different in a ways. Because Nine of Cups is very strongly of, this makes me happy. This is some sort of wish fulfillment. And wish fulfillment is not just happy, wishing, wishy-washy, right? But this is like emotional state. Something that makes you happy. Either this is relationship, moving home, raising family or whatever. But it kind of makes you a little bit maybe isolated in your own thoughts and i'm going to quickly clarify here uh-huh okay so we have two ones like clarify for that as well we're just kind of saying maybe sometimes need to be more open-minded very often when we are into this kind of niche of what we want to do we kind of lose the touch with reality a bit and we are living this kind of little bubble right and I understand sometimes you have sleepless nights because you want to meet the deadlines or do something that is so crazy. And But you believe it. But you have this zest for it. There's a real strong... Look how, look how Ace of Wands is holding that wand is really strongly. And this is how you're feeling as well. And sometimes it might feel that frustration. Okay? Frustration. But the more this is frustration, not for being crazy or wanting different things than others but it's because maybe things don't work out straight away okay it might take a bit time and maybe there's a bit a choice needs to be made okay and it kind of can make you a bit of i can't wait to this happening i can't wait to this happen okay and things are happening on its time and that's how you felt it kind of was so much push Right, in the right and current situation, we have so much fire, Leo, and you are the fire of no other than, oh, Leo, 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 the sun and everything. You are kind of having this idea of not physically maybe moving, but this is kind of you feeling that the things are really picking up. It kind of feels like like real fortune, you know, things are picking up and four ones, ace of wands and three of ones creates these four ones moment which is the celebration it kind of feels right now do you know what this weight this effort that i put in is really paying off big time and i feel even though maybe i can't physically see it 
but I can feel it in my guts that things are really working out for me and they're picking up. You kind of have this, whew, finally I've got this zest for life again, have a passion for life again. And yeah, and you're looking very optimistically towards your future. Very good sign. Now we have eight of cups and nine of pentacles. And what this kind of optimistic kind of influx has given you is courage. It's given you faith and believing in yourself that maybe you can do more. You can do more. We have eight and nine and coming from being being backwards, like maybe two steps um, ahead, three steps back or one step ahead, two steps back. Now you feel like, okay, things are really picking up. We have eight and nine, which is kind of very you know, right progression. And coming from not that nothing, but you're kind of prepared to leave your past behind and knowing going to something unknown and not that really unknown. It's it's it kind of have this I have this sense of feeling that you are really building, growing, thinking, planning of something on your own or something of idea. Maybe someone has done before, but it kind of has this hmm. It's 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 something unusual. Either maybe building a YouTube channel and spending a lot of time uh, on the channel and uh, or some sort of business or planning or reading something to to level up, to improve yourself. And that's how it feels. Because Nine of Pentacles is energy of abundance. And it is not just abundance of just money, but it feels of like possibilities of manifestation. I can wish and things will manifest as I want because each one of these pentacles were thoughts at the beginning, okay? And they have manifested. It's a manifestational card. And kind of the sense the wanting to be free, being in charge of your either own finances, of your own life, the law of attraction, you it kind of this you are going towards that. This is so interesting. Here we go, Queen of Pentacles. Look how beautifully she's looking at the pentacle and, and kind of really cherishing what she has. This period of time, you've definitely, what helped you get through is uh, being grateful. And be grateful for each of things that are working out and focusing on that positive. Being grounded, you know, not pushing things. And even you may have some moments, okay, you you really kind of prospered through that. We have ten of swords here. And so it kind of you have overcome the fear. And sometimes the Ten of Swords could, and it is a very kind of frightful card to look at. But boy, oh boy, this is something saying, nay, no more. We have Ace with some sort of big start. We have three ones, which is kind of like looking positively at something. And you are prepared to look something about, no, beyond. Beyond your fears, beyond everything else. And here we have ones again. The King of Wands is kind of guarding you. King of Wands is someone who is really pushing you towards that positive change in your life. That, mm, <laughs> mm, <laughs> yes, indeed. It's kind of like that fire within you. It's it's never ending fire, Leo. And do you know what? It's, some, it's not some, no one else. It's sometimes your self-doubt is the one that is trying to steal your happiness. And sometimes you could be your worst enemy. Isn't it interesting how we have the seven coming up? Like we had a beautiful eight, nine positive kind of um, progression happening. The seven is kind of, it's a reminder sometimes what is trying to hold you back. Okay. Leo, what a fiery reading it is indeed. Let's have a look what else we have for you for this period of time. There we go. If this resonates with you, don't be shy. Press the like button. It will help me a lot as well. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Hey, we are in Libra season currently. But we have the new moon um, coming soon in uh, Scorpio on 25th of October. Um, that will be a very interesting period because the new start, new things start Okay, in new moons. Um, yes, interesting. And we have show the world, will you, full moon Aquarius. And the full moon Aquarius will be for a while, but we have full moon uh, in Taurus on uh, November 8th, which is talking about uh, 
having that belly full, looking after the bank's account, having that security in your life as well and showing the world really you it is coming out like you are really kind of coming out of your shell and coming out to show the real you kind of this is who i am this is what i think uh despite the odds and you are not scared to be different compromise here we have the labor season there's some sort of maybe balance is needed as well in your life and maybe you know if there's a work life or um whatever that is the balance is calling for you to act recovery here we go we have recovery so it is talking about have a, a meditation or singing with yourself having that yes 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 gotcha um it is kind of like sometimes when we get derailed sometimes when that our self negative talk is talking out ourselves from pursuing something different than anyone else would do we may uh start to question ourselves yeah, I have my right hand aging. That means money, 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 money. And recovery is saying kind of like getting your energy back, getting your spirit back and getting in sync with yourself, with true, with who you truly are. All right, Leo. That was some fiery reading or what? Anyways, thanks so much for being here. That's all I have for you today. I'm sending you the love and light and I'll see you in the next reading. Take care.